Hi there. In the previous unit, we learned to distinguish between the term and the concept. We looked at uses of terminology and listed some existing resources on the web. Today, we'll look at the general theory of terminology and its premises, and then learn about ways to define concepts and to position them in a broader network of knowledge through different, different types of relations. Uh, we already defined concepts as units of knowledge, and we learned that they are formed through the cognitive process of generalizing and organizing our experiences of the world. We refer to concepts by linguistic units, which may be words, phrases or lexical units, and in the context of specialized communication, these lexical units are called terms. Now, needless to say, different languages use different designations to refer to the same concept, and there may, well, uh, there, there may very well exist several designations for the same concept. Uh, we use definitions to delimit the meaning of a concept and facilitate its distinction from other similar concepts. Uh, this sort of progression, where concepts are considered to be of prime importance, is also called the onomasiological approach and was described by Eugen Wuster, an Austrian lexicographer who is considered to be the father of uh, terminology theory and also the founder of the so-called general theory of terminology or GTT. Uh, Wuster's main concern was the functionality of terminology within specialized communication, which is why he thought that ideally each concept should only have a single designation in language. Especially in a multilingual context, one should always start from the concept and its definition, and then examine the possible designations in a language. A multilingual terminological entry thus still describes a single concept, though it may list definitions in different languages and the respective terms. The role of terminology is prescriptive in the sense that if several possible terms exist in one language, for the sake of clarity and precision, it should be decided which term to use as the preferred or standard designation.